This tutorial is about how to generate square and triangular waveform using schematic heat spice. Because schematic heat spice, heat spice does not provide these waveforms, but we can use peoples to generate these waveforms. First, let me start by building a simple circuit using a source and two resistors. So now let me get our generator or break generator for our input which is P force. Then we need two resistors. We need ground. Ground earth. That's we will need so far. Let me draw the circuit and check our symbol. Now we can wire it. And attaching this ground. Now let me start with our source. We can name this source as PG. And here, just click on uh, in DC zero, AC zero. And we gonna to choose choose our waveform to be four four peak to peak. So we can do D one as negative two and D two positive two. And here, the first waveform that I'm uh, the first waveform that I'm gonna to generate is square wave. So PD will be zero, and rest time or TR will be. We cannot do it zero, but we can do it close to zero, which is one picosecond. One picosecond. Also, TF or uh, full time is one picker. Here I'm going to choose my frequency as one kilohertz, which means my period will be one millisecond. And the pulse will be half of my period. Indeed, is not exactly the half because I have rest time and full time, but my rest time and full time are very small, which is one picosecond or close to zero, so I can do it as 0.5 milliseconds. Here, click on uh, transient, and we, because our period is one millisecond, so we're gonna to transit for three cycles or three milliseconds. Now we done with this. So <coughs> save this one. Let me save it as wave for G generator. When you save it, you can now start simulating this one. Takes only a few seconds. 
now let me check my input which is pg as you can see it's a square wave from negative 2 to positive 2 which means my p to b is fourfold or my amplitude is two volt and my period is one millisecond because i have choose my frequency as one kilohertz this is for square wave now let me go back and change my input to triangular so what i will do i will keep my amplitude twofold which is fourfold p to b but here the rising time will be half the period which is 0.5 milliseconds also the raise the fall time is 0.5 milliseconds here the poles will be zero but i will do it close to zero which is one pico now click on okay and uh, let me see simulation yeah translator is three i'm i'm gonna to keep it the same so now let me simulate this one and check what is my input as you can see this is triangular waveform from negative two to positive two with a period of one millisecond this is this is how to generate square and triangular waveforms. Thanks for watching.